Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. I would like to open with the with a prayer. You know, this is something that Jesus never fails to do. He prayed more than anyone else. He would retreat into the wilderness to spend time, quality time with our Father who art in heaven. So I will always open my messages to you with a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the gift of a new day. We would like to praise and glorify your wondrous and holy name. Guide and protect us as we go through this day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Today's scripture is brought to you through 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 16 to 17, and Psalms chapter 12, verses 6. 2 Timothy says all scripture is given by inspiration of God inspiration you can only get inspiration of God through the gift of the Holy Spirit the great comforter so when anyone is sharing the Word of God it is by inspiration through the gift and power of the Holy Spirit and it is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. For instruction in righteousness and for correction. That the man of God may be perfect, thoroughly furnished unto all good works. Thoroughly furnished. What does that mean? Perfection through righteousness in Christ. For it is only in Christ that we are able to achieve and attain the righteousness of God. Now let that sink in for a minute. Jesus is not interested in lukewarm Christians. God is not interested in lukewarm Christians. We have to be on fire for Christ. The book of Psalms 12 verses 6 says, The word of the Lord are pure words, as silver tried in the furnace of the earth, purified seven times. That is a purity in the righteousness of the Word of God. I hope this word blesses each and every one of you listening to this today. To God be the glory through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen.